Hi all, welcome to Salesforce in 5 minutes. In this video, we are going to learn how to configure this pre-chat form. So if you see in this form, there are fields like first name, last name and email. But right now, my website is regarding the saloon, right? So saloon needs one of the most important factor while running a saloon business is that their phone number. So that I can get their phone number and I can send them the relevant uh, details or send them the relevant offers that is applicable. We do not send it on email if you are running a salon, right? So phone number is one of the most important factor. So in this video, what we are going to do is we are going to add phone number field inside this pre-chat form. Also, we can override this complete form itself as per as the need. But right now we are just going to uh, add a phone number field as well. But also I'll show you how to remove the form itself. So before getting started, if you really like my videos, I request you to please subscribe to this channel. So let's jump back to the video. So inside the home, if you want to remove this pre-chat form or if you want to edit this pre-chat form, just in quick find search for embed. Right. So you can find embedded services deployments. Just click on it. And now I had created a customer support chat, right? In the previous few videos, if you would have seen, I have configured this pre customer support chat previously. So it is already created. Now I just need to click on it. One of the most important thing is that if you are making any changes to the chat after the setup, this result might take 10 minutes. So whatever changes you are going to do, it's almost going to take 10 minutes. If you're adding a field or if you're removing the form itself, it's going to take some amount of time. Okay, at least 10 minutes. So in order to work with the pre-chat or if you want to remove or edit the field inside the pre-chat, just go to this chat settings. Now click on edit. And inside this edit, you can see that is pre-chat page. Now inside this pre-chat page, let's say if you want to completely remove this pre-chat page, just inactive it. Okay, just click on this toggle and this will be inactive. So the user won't have to fill up the pre-chat form at all. But let's say you want to add one more field or if you want to, yeah, if you want to add one more field, let's say phone number, which is a very important field according to me for a salon uh, kind of a business. So in that case, you can just click on edit and click your service that is actually we are providing service now there are these fields that are available within the form name email subject and web email let's say i want to add a phone number as well so i can do is i can click on plus and outside this i can select the phone this phone field is selected from the contact just keep this thing in mind as i'm clicking plus on the contact object so let's click on add now phone field is also added along with that i want to make this field mandatory because phone number is one of the most important thing if you are running a salon business. So I'm going to click on checkbox and let's save it. So yes, our field is added. Let's check whether it is applicable quickly or it will take 10 minutes or not. Okay, phone number field is automatically added. Okay, it did not take too much time, but phone number field is also added and it is a required field. Again, if you want to remove this form completely, just inactivate it. Okay, so it will take around 10 minutes. The form will be completely removed and uh, I have already shown you how to add more fields. If you want, if you can also remove the fields from this layout, the pre-chat form, just by click clicking this cross, right? You can remove this field as well. So this is how you can configure the form or the pre-chat form which is provided in the community itself. If you found this video helpful, I request you to please subscribe to this channel.